Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. I hope you are all well and I hope your Christmas preparations are going better than mine. Actually, they're not going bad, I have to say. We, we do have a Christmas tree now. We, did, we had to drive to the Christmas tree place three times to get it right. The first time we drove there and it was, we thought it was open till eight o'clock at night. So we drove there about 7.30. It had closed three and a half hours earlier. Um, and so we went on the Saturday and found a lovely tree, you stood it up, you get to choose your own tree, pick them up and say, hey, what do you think of this one? Yeah, that's great. And so we spent a, a while doing that and got the right tree. And I said to Mrs. B, I said, have you got any money? She said, no, have you got any money? No, I left my wallet at home. So we had to drive back home to get my wallet, to drive back, because you had to pay cash. They didn't have, they didn't take cards. In fact, I didn't have my wallet anyway. It didn't matter if they took cards. And uh, yeah, so three times we had to drive to the, to the Christmas tree place, but it, it's up now. It's looking nice. It's a good shape. I'm very, very pleased with it. Put the lights up outside the house as well, where we live, all, all the neighbors, we, we all sort of put some, some lights up, um, apart from one or two. But uh, most people put lights up and it makes it a really nice little place to, to be. So yeah, I've done that as well. So I, I guess I'm doing something. I hope, I hope your preparations are going well. And oh, we did have our Christmas party the other night as well, our balloon market Christmas party. It was at a place called Pitcher and Piano in Ocean Village in Southampton. Made the mistake of having it on a Saturday night, didn't I? So I, I, I was tricked into a, a, a... Christmas parties are far better on a Tuesday night when you're working the next day. Um, but yeah, we had it on a Saturday night and I, I had something called a Jaeger bomb, which was quite an experience for me. You put something called Red Bull with something called Jägermeister and it's called a Jäger bomb. And yeah, that was that was interesting at the end of the night after many bottles of Prosecco. And I, I felt it the next day as well. So, and, and the day after that, in fact. So, but yeah, a good time was had by all. It's, we've got a great team here at Balloon Market and I do mention that occasionally, but we really do. So everybody let off steam. It was a very raucous evening. At the end of the evening, some of them decided that, that the younger group decided to go off and uh, go partying at some other nightclub bar place. Where was it, Matt? Mango. Mango in Southampton. So um, yeah, I think everybody had a, a, an interesting Sunday, put it that way. But yeah, great time was had by all. In fact, our, our newest team member, Eilis, she was starting on the Monday and she came on the Saturday night. I thought that was really brave of us. So um, she came to meet everybody after, after much Prosecco, which must have been very interesting for her. Anyway, I've not mentioned actually our newest team members because I've not done that many behind the table shows. In the last few months, we've had a few people join us. First of all, there's Toby. Toby's been with us about three months now. Interesting fact, in fact, two interesting facts about Toby. The school he went to was actually the school that they filmed Love Actually in. So that scene at the end of Love Actually in the school, that's, that's his school. And also another school related one, it's the same school that Pierce Brosnan went to. Yeah, the guy that played James Bond. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan went there. So that's, that's Toby, he's been with us, I'd say, a few months. And then Justin joined us a few weeks ago, four weeks ago, I think, maybe five weeks ago. And he is from South Africa and he's six foot four. And his interesting fact is he was once chased by a lion. So when he was in South Africa, he was chased by a lion. And he also told me another animal related fact. Uh, he was in a traffic jam once that was caused by two rhinos fighting. It's not quite the same as a new forest pony as you drive to Limington from here. So um, yeah, two rhinos having a fight that could squash your car. That must have been terrifying. So yeah, and that's Justin. Now, Eilis, she's only been with us. This is her second week and the time, if you're watching this on the day of release, the second, her second week. Interesting facts about her. She used to play a lot of rugby and played on the same pitch as the Saracens. Probably not at the same time, but uh, yeah, play, played on that same pitch. And also another interesting fact, she used to work for the super vet. So you know the super vet, the vet on TV that, that puts metal pins inside animals' legs and repairs them and stuff like that. She used to, used to work there. So yes, welcome one and all. They seem to have fitted in. You all seem to have fitted in very well to the team. So um, thank you and, and welcome. Now we are having, we, I'm a big believer in having fun here at work. I've always said that. I've said, if you don't enjoy being at work, if you don't enjoy what you do with the people you're with, change it and do something else. And seemingly the team quite like enjoying themselves as well. And they come up with their, their own things. So Martin and Jim, a while ago, decided to come up with something called the 12 Days of Crisp. 
Christmas. Crisp, not Chris, Crispmas. And they, they arranged it. Basically, there were 12 flavors of crisps and we had to have a, a, a crisp tasting and we had to guess what they were. And it was quite a wacky day. We did it on one day, it wasn't over 12 days. Did it on one day. And then at our team meeting at the end of the week, um, Jim and Martin both did a very Anton Deck sort of presentation announcing the winner. And the winner was... So, well, Katie. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> And there's two left. The mother or Father Christmas. <laughs> 2019. <laughs> we can reveal that one of you also finished joint second oh. with Anna and Chloe. Oh. <laughs> so the winner. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And Father Christmas to you. Justin. So he was our newest team member at the time because Eilis hadn't joined us. And Justin won 84 bags of crisps. You might have seen on our social media feeds. So, um, yeah, that was a, a bit of fun. And as for next week's BMTV, I know I talked about it in the live show I did the other week, but that everybody was involved almost everybody was involved in that and it was nothing to do with me it was all matt's idea and he put it all together and got almost everybody in the team there's some people that weren't able to, to be in on certain days got almost everybody involved in the filming of it and if you've ever wondered what the people are like that sign the bottom of your packing slips or that answer the phone watch bmtv next week and you will find out and you you might find out that some of them are quite competitive shall we say so yeah i'm looking forward to next week's bmtv i've not seen it yet uh, matt's still editing it but it should be uh, a very a very different one it's our christmas show it's it's going to be very very different right now we have had a couple of inquiries recently talking about frozen and other themes so i wanted to point out something on the website we created a banner that was useful resources and i have mentioned it before it's a, just a banner on the website balloonmarket.co.uk click on that and we've got all sorts of useful tools in there one is our pricing tool our interactive pricing tool so if you are new to the industry and you're not too sure how to do your pricing go and have a look at that and the video that we did with Mark years ago about pricing. Um, we've also got a helium liftability. So if you need to know what size weight you need to hold your balloons down or can you put confetti in it and stuff like that, then you can have a look at that. But it's the collections section, the collections area that I wanted to tell you about because somebody was asking about Frozen 2 and we have a Frozen 2 collection. So not only does it have the Frozen 2 products, it's also got other things that we think would go well with and support your, your frozen theme, whatever it is, if you're doing a party or whatever. But there's lots of other things in there, lots of other themes, lots of other collections, and it's just an idea, just an ideas place, really. Go there if you're looking for inspiration and you want to find out a little bit more about what we sell that might go with a particular theme, then that's the place to go. So yeah, just hit the useful resources banner on the website and then you'll see one on there that says collections and you can head over there and um, find out what we've got. Right, let's talk about a few products. Some are new, some are just products I've not talked about before. Um, the first, oh, actually, before I start talking about the products that are here, I better tell you about the products that are not because I will forget if I don't tell you now. So the Silhouette Cameo, um, that is obviously the vinyl cutter that we've sold for years. Uh, the Silhouette Cameo 3 is the one we had. Now we've got the Silhouette Cameo 4 and that is proving very, very popular. However, by the time you watch this, fingers crossed, there should be two more Silhouette Cameo 4s in the building. A black one and a pink one. Now when we had the coloured 3s, they were very, very popular. So I've got a feeling these are going to be very popular. The pink one is a very pale pink and the black one I just think looks super, super sleek. So if you want something a little bit different and you've not bought a vinyl cutter yet, or maybe you just want to upgrade your vinyl cutter, then we do have the black ones and the pink ones in stock available now, fingers crossed. They're not here in the building yet. They have been ordered today. Hopefully by the time we show this on Thursday, they will be available. Now, speaking of vinyl, 
This is a new color of vinyl that we've got. I've made the mistake of grabbing this and not looking on the website to see what it's called. So it's some sort of sparkly, prismatic, holographic red. So I think people have been using this a lot over the Christmas period. Um, so yes, we have that in stock now. And then some, I brought some other Christmas, I know it's, we're quite close to Christmas now, but I've got some other Christmas stock that I wanted to show you that can possibly, some of it, be used beyond Christmas and maybe just more of a winter theme. So we'll start with these pine cones. I thought they were all pine cones, they were all the same. They're not, they are different. These ones, it says on the label, pine ea cones, ea. I don't know if that's a misprint, but that's what it says on there. But these ones, they are called um, Mar Maritima cones. These ones just look more closed than those ones. I'd say that's the main difference. So these ones have opened up a bit more and yeah, that's probably it. And now I've got some sparkly ones at the front there, different ones got bag of them. And we've got those ones that, again, that you can just incorporate into your designs. That's the organic theme, obviously very popular still and you could incorporate them into those or do some table centerpieces and things like this. Um, we've got, now we've got a, another section on the website. It's called, it's a wrap. You might see the banner on there and it's wrapping. We're doing a lot more um, sort of wrapping accessories. So we've got bows, ribbons, things like that. And we're doing all of that now. So click on that section, it's a wrap. I've just brought a few bits and pieces up here for you to get an idea. Now, <laughs> once again, I, I didn't really understand why we were selling these, but these are pieces of, what does it actually say on the label? It says, small wood slices in a net, which is exactly what they are. They're small wood slices in a net. And then we've got slightly larger ones here. Now I've been told that you can use these for, you can personalize them, use vinyl, something like that. And you can create, or you can use them as a centerpiece. Um, the creative ones of you out there would know exactly what to do with these. I would to struggle, but I reckon you could put a number on there and that could be a house number if you wanted to sell those. And these ones, place settings, it's been suggested by Amy in the office, thank you Amy, that if you cut a little slot in these, you can put place names in there. So for tables at weddings, got bits of wood all over me. And then we've got this here, just wanted to show you this. This was a, it's a little piñata. You open it up, you put sweets in there. And I, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably a new year sort of design thing. And um, they hit 12 o'clock and then you hit that and sweets come out or whatever it is you've put in there. A couple of ribbons here. This is raffia, paper raffia. And we've had a few people ask us about, is there a, a, an eco-friendly alternative to ribbon? And this is it. It's made of paper effectively and biodegradable. And it is, um, yeah, just a, a different kind of ribbon. Now, I've spoken about Christmas, I've just mentioned New Year there, but we've got a, a few New Year things I wanted to show you. I've got some lovely New Year Qualitex balloons. Hello 2020 and clear, so obviously you can double stuff those, make those whatever color you want. Some New Year plates, napkins, another pack of latex there. But also here, I've mixed manufacturers here. So we've got this one from Unique. This is an anagram one. And the top two are Qualitex. So you can see that the black, the silver, the sparkly effect is very popular. Adding a bit of color there on the unique and the Qualitex one with the dots. Um, but there's also the classic gold, silver, white, and black that I think is gonna be very popular. This I love. This is an anagram orbs balloon and it's a uh, glitter ball. But I reckon that could actually be used as a glitter ball. It's properly shiny. So yeah, I reckon if you had to shine a spotlight on there, that would effectively be a very, very cheap glitter ball. But yeah, I think they're great. That's air fill. I was gonna helium fill it and Megan said, don't do that, Greg. Just air fill it and hang it from the ceiling and then that's show how people can use it. That's a really good idea. So there you go. That's how glitter balls would be hung, I suppose. Right, so that's Christmas and New Year. We are open between Christmas and New Year. Our opening times over the, the Christmas New Year period. We're open on the 23rd all day. We're open on the 24th, Christmas Eve until one o'clock. And then we're closed until the 30th. The 30th, uh, we're open all day. And the 31st, we are open till one o'clock. So if you do need, if you place any orders over that period and then we are in the office, those orders will be dispatched and you'll get them 
as, as soon as they, they get delivered. So was, obviously if you order on the 30th, you should get things on the 31st if you've chosen the courier delivery. So um, yes, they, and we're still open, obviously, if you want to come in and collect orders from us over that period. Right, moving on, a couple of, now these are really interesting latex balloons from Qualitex in that they are top prints. So you've got a balloon and they're just printed on the top. They're not printed around the side. And the reason for that is probably organic design. So we'll show a couple of pictures on the screen that show you how these have been incorporated into uh, design. So you can see the print actually on the top, but it's, it's, it's sticking out so you can see exactly what's printed. So the first one is called Cheers and the second one is Oh Happy Day. So Cheers, I guess, could be used for almost anything. Oh, happy day. I guess that could be used for anything really. Are you celebrating any day? But I suspect we'll probably be used more for weddings than anything else. And then over here, oh, very excited. We've got Star Wars coming again, haven't we? Yes, we've got Star Wars coming. So we've got the um, Star Wars balloons right here. So these are from Anagram. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about seeing that film. Star Wars, the, the, the Rise of Skywalker. And the last product range I want to talk about are these Grabo Marble Mate balloons, or Marble Mate balloons, as I find myself wanting to say. Um, I inflated one. I inflated the 16 rose gold the other day. One of my daughter's friends was 16. And in fact, it was Ella that worked here that came and did her, um, her work experience here. So yeah, it was her 16th. And I really like it. It's got the marble effect, which is really, really nice in itself. I've not inflated one here because it's a white background and it takes my ages to edit it whenever there's anything white or whitish on a white background that's moving and I get in trouble. So um, yeah, it's really nice. It's got that marbly effect, but then it's the rose gold, but then it's got lines of, of gold in it. So I just tied normal gold ribbon and a, a, a gold weight, standard frilly weight, and it just looked really good. The gold ribbon, kind of brought out the gold in the balloon. I really, really liked it. And of course, you've got the Grabo quality. One of the things we've noticed with all Grabo balloons, the quality of them is absolutely amazing. So the failure rates on Grabo are just so low. You can, and I think it was Mike from, from Reds that said, you know, you just need to buy one because it's not going to fail. It, it's a bit of a risk. There would be a failure rate, um, but it's very, very, very low. So yeah, Marble Mate Balloons from Grabo. Right, that is it from me this week. The question of the week, I want to know what colour schemes do you think are going to be the most popular this New Year's Eve? Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye.